Hi everybody, this is Wee Kiong again. Today we will be doing an upgrade of the ESX4 server to ESX i5.0 using Update Manager. Do take note that Update Manager is able to do an upgrade for ESX and ESX i. Before we begin, I'm going to shoot just to show you that my ESX server here is actually an ESX 4.1 and I have also placed the ESX i5.0 ISO in one of my drive. Here we'll go to update manager. And we will go to ESXi images tab and import the ESXi image. I'm actually importing this within my vCenter so this will take pretty fast if you are doing this over when on another workstation we have a vSphere client connecting to your vCenter this might take a little longer depending on your lens speed Right here, we will provide a name for our baseline. I'm going to call this ESXi 5.0 and click finished. And if you click on the baseline and groups, you actually see that the ESX 5.0 baseline is actually created. I'm going to go to the compliance view. Here, I'm going to attach the baseline. Alright, that I just created and you will see that all groups and independent baseline is actually placed here and all your ESX server will be actually listed here currently I only have one and you will only see one here before we proceed to remedy it, I'm just going to show you that my ESX4 is services alright, and this will be preserved during the up upgrade Here you can see my NTP server is actually running. Later on, this will still be preserved. Do note that certain things in ESX will not be preserved when you migrate to ESXi. Things like sudo, for example, or any customized scripts that you have will not be preserved. Now we're going to click on Remedy, and the wizard will be displayed and ESXi 5.0 is shown here and my host is also shown all the host will be shown here alright we're going to click next alright here I'm going to check to remove all third party software that is incompatible with this upgrade. I'm sure certain people will have installed certain agents to work with ESX or EXXI per se 
well (um) during this upgrade this agent may not be compatible so it's highly recommended to remove this and download the new agents to be installed once again and the schedule will need to be created we're going to do this immediately however I'm going to name this upgrade ESX 4 to ESX 5 Here you will see that you can actually change. I'm going to leave this as normal. Alright, the power state will not be changed. Since my VM are all power off, it should not be a problem. And this is actually to enter maintenance mode. And this is the summary. Alright, and we're going to click finish. On finish, you will see that the limited date entity will actually take place. This will take about 15 minutes and you will see that the status was, will actually stop at 22% what it's doing at the back is that it, it actually puts the ESX server into maintenance mode and after which it will actually perform a restart by mounting the ISO to the server and during the restart it will be like as if you're putting your CD into the server and doing a boot from CD-ROM to perform the upgrade but scripts are already generated do using the update manager and you will actually perform the upgrade without any human intervention automatically and once this is done the server will be rebooted and power up to the ESX running mode and you will see that the percentage will start to move from 22% all the way to 100% once it's ready and join to the vCenter 5 here I'm going to show you what is going on in the background on the console of the ESX just give me a minute here here you can see the server is actually now in maintenance mode and the task has actually reached 22 percent all right this is the ESX console you can see that it has been shut down and is running all the stop services and it's going to do a perform a reboot you can see that this screen is actually doing an upgrade and yes you will be seeing the ESXi installer being loaded okay we will not be going through this I will put this video on a pause until this all the upgrade has been performed and back to the vCenter you will see that the server is now disconnected because it's in the upgrade mode now okay we will resume this once this is completed okay um, you can see that the remedy entity has completed and it also has a zip from maintenance mode right here we will actually take a look the ESX is actually now upgraded to 5.0 same thing we'll go to configuration and take a look at the time configurations you can see that the configuration is still intact all right and let's look at the configurations under the security profile right for ESX 5.0 the security profile is slightly different you can take a look here all right lock mount is at the bottom firewall is actually at the center and services 
So let's take a look at the properties. You can see that SSH is actually stopped. If you like to turn on SSH, you can actually just start from here. And these are all individual services. As for the firewall, you have to create XML file within the ESXi server to have more alternatives for your firewall. Alright, this marks the complete of upgrading ESX4 to ESXi 5.0.